we are here uh, for the special screening of The Essex Serpent for Apple TV+. It's based on a novel by Sarah Perry, um, which came out uh, about six years ago. It's set in 1893 in London and Essex. There has been, and there really was, a, an earthquake which um, dislodged all sorts of fossils in the Essex landscape, um, which has created a curiosity about archaeology. And we have to remember this is a time when Darwin has just published The Origin of the Species. So um, science and reason are starting to become a um, very progressive way of understanding the world. A teenage girl has gone missing. Something's bumping into the fishing boats. Has the Essex serpent, the ancient winged dragon that lives beneath the Blackwater estuary, come back and been awakened by the earthquake? And this rumor starts to spread like wildfire around the community, um, into which our heroine, Cora Seaborn, played by Claire Danes, um, arrives because she's curious about the archaeology side of it. And she finds a very God-fearing and faithful community who um, find meaning in their faith, destabilized by their superstition. Um, and there begins our story. I find, uh, when I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to play a character that's based on a book, um, the novelists, um, Sarah Perry, uh, John Le Carre and The Night Manager, for example, um, there's, they give the actors so much um, interiority because authors are always getting inside the hearts and minds of their characters um, what they're thinking what they're feeling it's beneath the surface of what they're doing and saying so reading the book was really helpful I had never been to that part of Essex um, and I, I found it in, in, incredibly evocative um, and inspiring because on the on the far east coast, the easternmost east coast of England, I think if you you know if you swam from the North Sea there, you get to Denmark, um, and it's very tidal and wet and windy and very atmospheric. It's where Turner used to go and paint, and he painted these extraordinary sunsets and extraordinary skies, and and um, you know it's so much about the story, so much about that landscape and how treacherous it can be if you get caught by the tide um, and the Blackwater estuary is quite serpentine it's it, from viewed from the air it looks like a snake um, and I was surprised by it it's obviously a very ancient part of England I've admired Clio Barnard for a long time uh, we met we met about 10 years ago at the London Film Festival and we both remember that meeting actually and uh, it was really nice to work with her because I've always admired her from a distance her films, The Selfish Giant, Dark River, The Arbor. Um, I thought Anna Simon's screenplays were in incredibly deep. They, they seemed to have a, the texture of the novel, but they also had something very tangible and very raw. Um, the landscape is, is, very, um, is very wild, and that mirrors something turbulent about the passions of the characters, which is, which is quite unfettered and wild too. Uh, so I thought Anna really captured that. Um, Sarah's novel, she's so generous and so open and we had many conversations. Um, I was trying to kind of um, just borrow as much of her own <laughs> research as I could. Um, yeah, it was an amazing team and uh, Andrea Cornwell, our producer, um, amazing uh, women in the, in leading our cast, Claire Danes, Clemence Poesy, Hayley Squires, it was a, a great team. And um, I've enjoy I enjoyed making it so much. Yeah. It was really um, meaningful.